want to leave everything as it is. I therefore never plan nor invent. I add nothing and omit nothing. But at the same time, I know that I inevitably shall invent, alter, make, and manipulate, but I don't know that. The tremendous strength, the terrifying power, an idea has, which goes as far as death. That is the most impressive thing to me, and the most inexplicable. Without a doubt, ideologies are harmful. We must take them very seriously as behavior and not for their content. In content, they are all equally false. Strange though this may sound, not knowing where one is going, being lost, being a loser, reveals the greatest possible faith and optimism as against collective security and collective significance. To believe one must have lost God. To paint, one must have lost art. But it's work, after all. I feel that I'm not reduced to being a mute spectator. I have something to do that makes it more bearable. That makes it more bearable. Being able to do something is never an adequate reason for doing it. All we can present is analogy, which stands for the invisible but is not it. To work for a revolution and fail. To work for a revolution and fail. Work for a revolution.